Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Great House. Today's video is an around the world challenge video and we were just told to pick a spot in the world and make some DIYs that were inspired from it. So I am bringing you three Mexico inspired DIYs today. Since this video is part of a challenge video, there is a playlist and that will be linked in the description box below. And also there's a giveaway, but I'm gonna tell you more about that in just a little bit. DIY number one. I'm gonna be making a donkey shaped pinata and in the description box below, I'll have a link to the template. I suggest using a cereal box or chipboard or some other pliable cardboard, maybe even card stock like material. So you're gonna cut out two of the donkey shapes and then some strips because you're gonna be using those strips to enclose the pinata. Now there are easier shapes to do, like if you did a circle that would be way easier, but I'm doing a donkey. Now to make the fringe, I'm using tissue paper and I'm just cutting little strips and then Captain feels like he needs to help, <laughs> so, as he often does. And you're just going to be cutting little, like little slits to make fringe. You can use any color tissue paper that you want. In fact, in the description box, that link that I shared with you guys for the free template, I included a circle so that you can make a horn and make it a unicorn. And I think I'm going to try that next, but you just have to carefully, because the tissue paper is fragile, you just have to carefully glue it down. You can use either, I'm using a glue stick because I just think it's a little bit uh, stickier and I didn't want it to be so wet like if I was using Elmer's glue or something and you just do it all the way around once you've glued all the fringe around this is how it's going to turn out now granted I need to practice a little bit more on my fringe wrapping skills but I think it turned out all right I am participating as I mentioned before in and around the world challenge and I've got some amazing creators doing it along with me and a link to the entire playlist is going to be in the description box below as well. And you'll need that to enter the giveaway that I'll tell you more about in just a minute. DIY number two. Mexican paper flowers are my absolute favorite and helping me is Captain's absolute favorite. Anyway, you're going to fold the tissue paper into a square shape and then on the folded ends, you're going to be cutting those open. So that way you have separate pieces of paper. And then what I do is I take six of those pieces of paper because I'm making a mini paper flower and I'm folding it in half so I kind of get a center point to work from. And then I make a fan shape going back and forth, back and forth with my folds. I also find the middle so that I can use twine to create, to tie it in the middle. And I like my flowers with the rounded petals. So I'm just cutting little rounded edges on the top. And Captain's staying just right in the middle of everything. Now when you pull the paper flowers, flowers apart, you need to be careful because it is tissue paper and the tissue paper is fragile. But um, it starts to work out and fan out really nicely. And oh look, in the top left corner, you'll see Socks is joining us. He's really been joining us for our videos lately, which is fine. So now the paper flowers are actually kind of gapping in the middle just a little bit. Captain's coming to inspect that. And I'm going to take just a dab of hot glue to glue that together after I pet Captain for a few minutes. And this is how they turned out. Hi, me popping in the video to tell you how to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is comment the word world on every video in the playlist. And I've linked the playlist in the description box below so you can find it really very easily. And all you have to do is comment the word world on every single video in the playlist. Good luck. DIY number three. I am making a Frida, Frida, Frida Kahlo inspired flower pot. And of course, Captain is helping me. I sure hope he doesn't get his tail in the paint. But I'm painting it with Rust-Oleum's Chopped Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen to give it a nice base coat. Now I'm gonna sketch out where her face is going to go. And so the parts that I'm sketching out are gonna, is gonna be where her hair is. And then I take Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal 
and that's gonna be her hair. And so I'm just painting all around the pot and just leaving that one little centerpiece white for her face. And oh, there's socks again. Now that I have that done, I am gonna start creating her flower crown. And I found this little sponge brush type thing at Hobby Lobby and I'm using it. Those yellow dots are gonna be the center of the flowers and then all the colors to my left are gonna be the flower petals. I take that same little brush thing and dry it a little bit so it doesn't smear, but then I, I just put little petals around, little dots for the petals, and I do about five or six dots per flower. Now I am sketching on, with Captain's assistance, where her face is going to go. I'm using a red paint pen for her lips. And then I'm gonna take a black paint pen and a Sharpie to kind of um, go over where I've sketched. And yes, I did create a unibrow for her. And as a finishing touch for the flowers, I am using the opposite end of a paintbrush, dipping into white paint and just putting little dots all around the flowers. I just love how this looks. And this is how it turned out. I really do just love all the creations that I made today. My favorite is the flower pot. And then I also love how the flowers turned out. I need to work a little bit more on my pinata skills, but I think I'll get there. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. My favorite of today's projects was the Frida flower pot. I think it turned out so cute. I hope you enjoyed everything that I made today as well. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.